We begin in Lexington, where historic black churches have served as places of worship and refuge for centuries. In the 1800s, church historians say St. Paul AME hid enslaved African Americans traveling along the Underground Railroad. But the price tag to protect this legacy is costly. Krista Spadaccini explains how a recent grant gets this sacred site one step closer to preserving its past. Ooh. Written in the windows and hidden in the halls of St. Paul AME Church in Lexington are Bible verses and untold stories. Beside the pulpit and behind a locked door lies a secret passageway. Now, this right here is the door to access the, uh, the area above the ceiling. Nearly 200 years ago, the sanctuary was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Runaway slaves would sneak up the staircase into the attic, awaiting their chance for freedom. You go to school and you learn one part of history, but then when you had additional questions, you came to here to learn the rest. Priscilla Sullivan grew up going to the historic church on the corner of North Upper and West Third Streets. Her Sundays were spent listening to songs, scripture, and stories of the places past told from the memories of her elders. But the congregation is losing its best storytellers. And Sullivan thinks some tales are still untold. To preserve this, this building still has a lot to tell us. Built in 1826, St. Paul AME has stood the test of time. But as expected, repairs are required. And you can see the cracks. And construction costs are more than half a million dollars. We just want to... Uh, kind of button things up to make it last another 200 years. <laughs> David Kieser and his consulting group have been helping St. Paul AME for several years search for grants to pay for the project. National Trust recently awarded the church up to $140,000 through the African American Cultural Heritage Action Fund. It's a matching grant that relies on the congregation's donations. From fixing the foundation to replacing the roof, the faithful say God's house is to be built in God's way. If you rebuild it his way, using his way, in order to offer educational tours and expand its ministry services. Sullivan also hopes during construction more chapters of the church's story are uncovered. Just his tools he gives you, then uh, it'll be successful. The centuries old safe haven needs to be restored. They found a key from 1840 when renovating the bell tower that opens the door above the entryway. History is basically ongoing as long as you can discover it and it becomes available.